This video is being made for educational purposes. Hey kids, you know what's cool? The Sega Dreamcast. You know what else is cool? Piracy. Disclaimer, every time I say piracy in this video, I'm joking. Listen, the Sega Dreamcast, pretty cool console. It doesn't have the biggest library, but there's some real gems on here. Unfortunately, they're all way too goddamn expensive these days. How's anyone supposed to afford that? In this economy? Thankfully, burning Dreamcast games is insanely easy. Any idiot can do it. Look at me. I'm an idiot. I did it. Literally all you need for this is just a blank CDR, the ROM with the game you want, the burning software. You don't need to make any sort of modifications to the Dreamcast. It just, it just recognizes it as legit. Disclaimer! This won't work with all Dreamcasts. You have to check the bottom of your Dreamcast to see when it was made and if it will work. You gotta check like right there. Alright, come closer. No, don't just zoom in. Like, actually come closer. You're, you're not gonna see anything like that. It's too blurry. Okay, that's better. Now, if you look at the bottom down here, you will see a number next to either NTSC or PAL, depending on what region your Dreamcast is. Um, you're gonna wanna... You're gonna want one with either a one or a zero. If it has a two after it, then this just, just, it won't work. It won't work. Now, once you've made sure that your Dreamcast will actually work with this, you can go ahead and download the burning software you need. Um, link for that in the description. You will have to provide your own ROMs. I'm not gonna find ROMs for you. I don't want this video taken down. I don't know if it would be taken down realistically, but like better safe than sorry, I guess. All right, so I'm too goddamn lazy to set up screen recording right now, so I'm just gonna point my camera at my laptop screen. But basically, first things first, you're gonna want some sort of software that can open up RAR files for, for your ROMs and such. Go with good old 7-zip. There you go, it's free. Once you have something to open up RAR files, just go ahead and install Image Burn. Just go ahead and put it wherever you like. Oh my god, my internet sucks! It's gonna take goddamn forever! All right, and once that's finally downloaded, go ahead and head over to wherever you put the installer, open it up, you know, go through the whole installation process. I don't think I need to cover the installation process. It's literally just follow the prompts on screen until eventually you have the program. Just install it wherever you want it, and then wait for that to get done. All right, and once you've got that installed, go ahead and just navigate to wherever it is that it's downloaded. Okay, now this next bit is important, okay? So, most of the Dreamcast ROMs you're gonna get are going to be CDI files. For Image Burn to properly be able to burn those files to the disk so that they work right, you need some plugins. I wasn't able to find wherever I got my copy of the plugins from, and I couldn't find them anywhere else online, so I just went ahead, I threw them into a zip folder, put them in a mega link, that'll be down below with everything else, so you just download those, Go to wherever you downloaded them, extract them, and then you literally just copy and then bring them over to wherever you have image burn. Just go in there and then just paste. You can go ahead and insert your blank CDR. Open up image burn, run as administrator, select write image file to disk, destination that's going to be whatever drive your blank CD is in. Now go ahead, select a file, look for wherever you put your Dreamcast ROM. For this example, I shall be burning the JoJo's Bizarre Adventure game. You're going to want to burn it as slow as possible, just to make sure it comes out properly. If you burn it fast, it, it, just, it just won't work. Then whenever you're ready, just go ahead and click right, and then you basically just wait. Just wait for that to get done. Now it might take a while, yeah, but you want it to burn properly, okay? I mean, you want it done quick, you want it done right. Because you can't have both. Oh, and something else I forgot about. Partway through the burning, um, it's gonna just like open up the disc tray. What you just, you just close it back up. Go ahead, just hit OK to continue. Um, yeah, don't forget about that like I did. Once it's finished burning, well, of course, it's time to, you know, pop it in, make sure it actually works. And if it doesn't, well, I guess then just try again. That's really all the advice I got for you if, if, it, if the burn doesn't work. Just, just, just try again. All right, let me, let me hook this thing back up. 
All right, are you ready, kids? Moment of truth time. My Dreamcast isn't plugged in. Where is the plug for that? Dear God. Oh, cable management. There is no management of these cables. It's just chaos. Moment of truth time for real this time, I hope. I didn't have the AV cables plugged in. Cool. Don't mind me just making an ass of myself on camera. Okay. Now, for real, moment of truth. Let's go. Ah. Ah. Hey. Hey. Look at that. It's starting. It is starting. Sega. Look at that. It is working. We've done it, gamers. Successful burn. Now I can play JoJo's Bizarre Adventure on the Sega Dreamcast. Look at... Dio. There he is. It's time for JoJo's Bazinga Journey. And then, of course, the final step, once you've got a successful burn, is to just label it. Oh, yeah. That's beautiful. One important thing to keep in mind is that some Dreamcast ROMs will be CDI, some Dreamcast ROMs will be GDI. I don't know if there's a different burning method for GDI or if you can do the same thing. I, I don't know. So I would just stick to CDI. Zelda CDI. Lamp oil, rope, bombs, you want it? It's yours, my friend, as long as you have enough rubies. And now that I've instructed you in the ways of Dreamcast burning, it's time for you to pay up. That's right, you, saw, you thought this was a free tutorial? Nah, man. I demand payment in the form of likes, comments, and subscribes. Hitting the bell icon to stay updated. Is that even a thing anymore? I honestly don't know anymore. I never use the feature because it's stupid to have a basically a second subscribe button. That is all for me today. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope this informed and entertained you at least a little bit. See you next time. Have a nice day. Roll outro.